Hey guys, welcome to a uh, tutorial on how to get your original Xbox online in 2025. Alright, so the materials that you need are all down in the description. And here we go, let's start. So, uh, you're going to need to turn on your Xbox, obviously. I'd recommend you have an Ethernet cord plugged in already just for preparation. So, the first thing you got to do is plug in your, U your Xbox controller to... USB female into your Xbox and any controller port. Doesn't matter two, three, four, doesn't really matter. And then you gotta plug your USB drive into the USB female socket. And you have to use the exact USB drives in the description, or you could or if you're lucky you could try using one that's under four gigabytes, but it has to be four under four gigabytes. And most you in the Xbox with USB drives is really picky, so I'd recommend you just buy the ones in the description. They're ten bucks. You get five of them, and they're kind of perfect for this. All right. So um, I think you should probably have it formatted to FAT32 first, obviously. And yeah. All right. Let's go into the memory tab, and then also any data on the USB drive will be erased like without any warning so be very cautious of that and press ok and then your controller memory card as it shows up is ready and then you can plug the USB drive into the PC and I'll see you in the next step alright so after you formatted your USB drive on your Xbox uh, first thing you do when you plug in your USB drive is you notice it tells you to format it do not press format disk if you will, then you'll have to format it on your Xbox again. Instead, what you're going to have to do is get this program called Fat Explorer, and that should allow you to map the drive. You're going to want to get the not the .NET 9 desktop runtime. Uh, get the one for your platform. I'd recommend 64-bit if you're using like a newer computer. And then you would need to get the beta version 3.0, not 2.5. And then once you have that downloaded, extract that anywhere and run it. Then go into your Fat Explorer file. Go into Fat Explorer. Press Devices. Select your original Xbox MU. And then press Load Device. And then mount Data Partition on X. To your trial. And then there you go. In your Mods folder, you should be able to access that. So now what we're going to have to do is go into your to insignia.live uh, the website's in the description and you're gonna have to go to connect and then you're gonna have to press and then you're gonna have to know what status your Xbox is if it's not modified at all like it's stock press on this and if you have like a modded or a hard modded one follow this one so since I'm doing a stock tutorial mostly just go to your go to setup assistant here then go to stock.zip, open it up, and then extract it onto your USB drive. Then, when you're all done with that, close out of everything, except for Fat Explorer, and then you gotta go here, press unmount, close, and then you can, you don't really have to, you can eject your disk, and then you should be free to go, and then you should be able to plug in your Xbox, and then I'll see you in the next thing. So, after you got all the files onto the USB drive and unmounted it from your computer, plug the USB drive into the adapter on the USB end and the controller port end into any controller port on the console. After you do that, go to the memory tab on the dashboard and select your memory card. Your Xbox should freeze right after pressing on this, so if you get stuck on this, try deleting or moving some saves uh, or move them to another device for it to work usually you don't have to do this though so only do it if your xbox gets frozen for a pretty long time and let's go do this like i said it should freeze for a little bit it should also flash like red and orange but that's not like a f point of fail, fail. alright so now you have these options so what you're going to do is press register Xbox and then also you got to make sure you're connected to Ethernet while you do this. And 
it says my Xbox is already registered, but it should also say that it has been registered for you. I just use this console already to register. And also, if you're on a non-hacked Xbox, I would recommend pressing on view HDD key in case it ever dies, since you need that to play, uh, put a new HDD into your console. And then after you're done registering, press quit system setup ass assistant and you should be good to go. Alright, so after you registered your Xbox with the insignia setup, first you're gonna make sure you need to make sure your network settings are configured correctly as it uses a custom DNS for connection. So you gotta go into settings, then network settings. And then you gotta go to DNS servers. And you gotta have to copy down the DNS servers that I have listed here. If you don't put these down, then your games will not connect to Insignia. So pause the video if you need to. These are the DNS servers. Alright, so once you got them copied down, go all the way back to the main menu. And then go to the Xbox Live tab. Now from here, you're either gonna have to make a new account or recover a previous Insignia account that you made before. If so you gotta go to the insignia.live website first to make your account and then it should give you a subscription code and then you have to go to new account and uh, enter your gamer tag that you want and then enter your subscription code there and then after you do that log in and then it should work see so yeah, I'm on Xbox Live right now or insignia as it really is right now and then and then you should be done. Everything works. Friends, voice chat if you get the Xbox voice module. So yeah, everything works. And the final thing I would like to say is most games are supported, but if you don't have a supported game, you should check the Insignia.live website if your game is supported or not. And also, I'd probably say that the most active game by far on these servers is probably Halo 2. It is also probably the best game, too. So, yeah. Now, you should be free to go. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Uh, ask any questions in the comments if you had any issues, and I will help you. Alright. Thank you, guys. Bye.